Hello guys, uh, here we are. I'm gonna try to solve a problem today. I'm gonna show you a problem. It's a trust problem that you see the problem and you start screaming and going crazy because oh my god, this is so difficult. No, how this professor can put that in one exam? I'm not gonna be able to do it. Well, think first and complain later if you want to complain or if this, if this is this anything that you are going to complain about. Okay, let me let me show you what the problem and how the problem looks like. The problem is something like this. Look at this thing. You have this big truss here. And you have all those elements in that truss and then you start thinking the distances here is 0 0.8 meters each. All of these are forces and each one of those forces are 2000 Newton. And you have pin support, roller, and then you start thinking, oh, wait a second, if I have a pin support here, then this is going to be one reaction in this way, one reaction in this way, this is going to be Jx and Jy, and this is a pin which is going to produce one reaction in that direction, this is going to be Gy, and then uh, the problem is asking me, what the problem is asking me, well that's the first thing that you should know, the problem is asking me, calculate the force in bar G, no, not G, Fh, F H. The first thing that I recommend you to do is go here and identify that bar. This is the bar that we are talking about, this one. Most definitely if the problem is telling you to calculate one bar and it's one of the interior bars, it's because uh, you're going to have to use the method of the section. Well, no, let me re-say that. You don't have to use the method of the section, but it's going to be the easiest way of doing it. So if it's FH and I have to cut three bars, by the way, I don't know if you have realized that this member here is a zero force member because you can see here and then you have two elements, two of them collinear, two of them collinear, one is not. The one that is not collinear is a zero force member, but I don't need that for anything now. So I have several things. Either I go to the, I calculate reactions, which I can calculate reactions by doing summation of moments at J equals zero and then calculate G, GY and then doing summation of forces in X and Y and calculating JY and JX and then I can come here to this joint and do the calculations of this joint and transfer to that joint and calculating the force FH but just by doing that I'm already tired and I haven't even started the problem so think whenever you have the problem like that think and when you think that you already have it think again so let's do that if I have to, I'm sorry, I dropped my pen, there you go, I pick up my pen again, my marker. So once you have, and you know that that is the bar that I want to calculate, or that I have to calculate, the next step is here, my pocket. Uh, check if you can do that with one section. And I don't know if you realize that if I do this here, I'm cutting the bar that I'm needed. FH and two more. Remember the method of the section you can cut up to three unknown bars and if I use this side I don't even have to calculate the reactions. So let's make a quick drawing of how that part would look like if I if I have to do this method and doing that. I'm gonna just copy this again so I'm gonna come here, this is here, this is here, this is here and these are the bars my section is through this point, so this is like that, and these are connected here, all these bars are connected. So basically when I do that section, this is the bar FH, which is the one that I'm looking for, and this is going to be 2000, 2000, 2000, and 2000, 2000 each, each one of those forces, Newton. These distances are 0 0.8, you have them there, and well not here, somewhere here and the total height here up to this point is 2.5 meters and then you start thinking and saying okay then I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do summation of forces in X and summation of forces in Y if I do summation of moments here I can calculate this force and until you realize that you don't have to do anything like that because if you just look at the ah I'm sorry I forgot it very important detail there is a reaction here which is GY. You know something? I could care less about that reaction. 
because now I'm going to do moment with respect to this point, which is the point G. If I do moment with respect to the point G, look what is happening. This force passes through the point, so it doesn't produce moment. This force passes through the point, so it's not producing moment. This external force also passes through the moment, and my only unknown is the bars FH. So what do I do? Summation of moments with respect to G equals zero. And then I start doing this. Remember, each one of these forces is 2,000, so I have 2,000 times the distance from here to here, which is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 2.4. Positive, because it goes in this direction. If I assume this is positive, this is going to rotate in that way. Now I have the other 2,000 force here, 2,000 times 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 1.6. And this other 2,000 here, plus 2,000 times 0.8 and now I have the force FH which is going in this direction remember if you do this it's going to rotate in that way negative negative FH multiplied by the vertical distance remember the force is horizontal the distance is vertical which is there 2.5 and that has to be equal to 0 when you solve for FH where is my calculator calculator is here my calculator 2,000 times 2.4 plus 2,000 times 1.6 plus 2,000 times 0.8 equal 9,600 divided by 2.5 equal 3,840 Newton and because I am as I assume this force originally leaving out of the joint, that means that that force is going to be in tension. There you go. Could you imagine a simpler problem than that? You know, sometimes professors or people ask you a simple problem in exams to help you out if you think a little bit, and you think that is something really long and really difficult. Oh my God, that professor is so mean. Look. This is everything that you have to do in order to calculate that force, and look how easy it is. Be smart, guys. Think and then act. That's going to save you a lot of troubles, not only in statics, but in, in your life as well. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next recording. Keep watching, please.